Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando and we're going to be celebrating the holiday season with Grinchmas. I plan on trying all the different themed holiday snacks and also watching the Who Holiday Spectacular and even meeting the mean green one himself, the Grinch. Anywho's, let's go do this. We're going to start off our day over here in Islands of Adventure because this is where the Grinchmas is. But we also plan on doing all the other Universal Holiday offerings, including the Holiday Parade featuring Macy's and the Tribute Store and the Castle Projection Show on the Hogwarts Castle. So it's going to be a fun day and I'm just very excited to share it with you guys. I am so excited to meet the Grinch again this year. I always get nervous though when I go to see him because you never know what he's gonna say to you. Like it's always fun though because he always makes me laugh. Like I always walk out of there thinking, wow, that was a life-changing experience. And we're definitely gonna be seeing him more than once today because we're also gonna be doing the Who Holiday Spectacular where he's actually gonna be retelling the story of how the Grinch stole Christmas. And it's just gonna be a beautiful like holiday filled day. We're going to make our way into Seuss Landing, and I'm so excited to see all the Christmas decorations out. Hopefully, we might run into a couple of Who's from Whoville and ask them what we should do if we see the Grinch, just so we can get ourselves a little bit more prepared. The Who's are just roaming around Seuss Landing everywhere, and I'm not looking for anyone in particular. Any Who will do, but if you do want to meet the Grinch, there is a specific location. I will show you where that's at, and we're going to be actually meeting him a couple of times throughout the day because uh, we're going to be seeing him in the uh, Whoville Holiday Spectacular and then also in a little nice little meet and greet area that Universal has provided because they actually invited me out today to show you guys all of the festivities. And it seems I've stumbled upon a whole Who gathering here. There's a bunch of them here. Look at this. Tossing presents, playing music. They've got ornaments. <laughs> I love you. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Did you get that for Christmas last year? I did actually. With the Christian stealing, No, no, absolutely. Actually, I have a good. Uh, what, what should I do if I encounter the Grinch? I'll offer you an onion as a peace offering. That usually works. It depends if Max is there. If Max is not there, it's okay. It's probably going to be a bad day, but it's fine. If he burps in your face, it's not that bad. I'll he accept it. He's not a bad guy. Okay, that's He's not a bad thing. guy. No, 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 don't you, you. We don't want to talk about the G word. Right? I like Cindy. My mom's name is Cindy Lou. Really? It is. Is she a, is she a Cynthia? No, no, she's a Cindy. Oh, she's a Cindy. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's not a who, though. She's just a Cindy Lou. <laughs> I am so excited we got to run into a bunch of Who's and Cindy Lou and it's funny because my mom's name is Cindy Lou so I'm actually been thinking about bringing her here she's never been to Universal Studios but I was thinking about bringing her for the holiday season and getting her to actually meet the Grinch because I think she would love it I think it'd be so much fun Something else they're doing this year that's really cool is breakfast with the Grinch. Right over here at Circus McGurkis Cafe. Stupendous! And it's got to be a really fun experience. I'm sure they're going to have green eggs and ham, but a lot of other stuff. I'd love to come back and do that with my mom. Like I said, I think, I think it would be fun. It's so funny that the Who's mentioned that the Grinch is always in a better mood when Max is around. And if Max isn't there, then you're looking at a bad day. And Max is never with him. But this year, I hear that you can do a special like Christmas VIP tour where you get to meet Grinch and Max. And 
I kind of want to do that. I love Max. I feel like that's like one of my favorite things about the story is that there's a dog that makes this grumpy person kind of happy and it's, it's really cool. So if we get to meet him on a VIP tour, I would definitely think about doing it. If you want to meet the Grinch, he's at Honk Honkers this year and they're doing a virtual line. So you don't have to wait in a physical line. You can actually join the queue itself in the app or you can scan it right here, but you have to do it inside the park and it sells out super fast. So you definitely want to do it as soon as possible. Right now, we're gonna be meeting the Grinch with a friend of mine, and I am so excited. I can't wait to introduce you to her, and I can't wait to see the experience with the Grinch, because like I said, he can be mean, but he's also just like hysterical, and you'll always walk out of there smiling. And here is my friend Emmy, and she is a Give Kids the World ambassador and alumni, and I'm so excited. Are you excited? So excited. I like your shirt. Hi. Hi! Yeah, she has an Instagram. You guys should follow her. It's really fun, really fun Emmy. And then she's also on Facebook. And she's also known as Emmy Luhu, which I love your shirt. <laughs> we made them ourselves. Oh, well, you did a good job. All right, here we go. We're heading in. Bring my layer! Oh. <laughs> Emmy Luhu? Oh, it's good to meet another who. I've been seeing humans all day. Welcome to the creatures lair. What's up, guys? You're having a terrible day, I hope. Is it awful? Yeah. Well, but he... It's oh, been yeah, pretty good. awful. Yes. That does sound bad. Sweet. Are you guys excited about Christmas? Yes, I mean no. Yes, I mean no. See, it takes some adjusting for me, too. I'm new to liking Christmas. Because I, I know you like bad things. I do! But see, Christmas, I'm starting to get it now. I'm starting to figure it out. It's all about spending it with the right person. Are you guys excited to spend it with anybody? My dog. Exactly. I was going to say. Yeah. The <laughs> the people that get so annoying. Even when you sit with the family, there's always one uncle or something that's like, Oh yeah. <laughs> Where is Max? Oh, it's always weird. Like I'm not enough. Like, <laughs> Dude, this party's called Grinchmas, not Maximus. You know. <laughs> I would like it as Maximus. Oh good. Maybe I'll have a little party for you in the dumpster. <laughs> 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 you love it. Max, Max did all these decorations for me. Oh. And he's doing it's very nice. Couple minutes. That's pretty good. Oh yes. But once we're done with that, he goes to sleep. He's a lazy dog. Dude, this beard here needs a little more green. Have you got some mold at home? I might need to get some green dye. <laughs> oh, that, that works too. Yeah, some green dye. And I think I, I like your stinky. <laughs> I do. I, I could tell I liked you when you came in. You yep. Know, there's, there's this thing on your shirt that's got eyeballs. It looks like brown dookie. Yeah, it's an ET. I think it needs to moisturize. ET? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like something else to me. <laughs> nice. Are you having an awful day? Oh, terrible. Absolutely terrible. It warms my larger heart to hear that. I'm gonna bring my mom to meet you too, so I'm very excited. You're gonna meet my mom. Yeah, I'm so excited to meet more touch people. <laughs> touch the fuzzy four. <laughs> it's so fuzzy. Now you have fleas, you're welcome. <laughs> you're itchy later, don't worry about it. So much! I love it. Okay. Thank you for helping me be nice. I, I knew it needed something. You're welcome. See, that sounds normal to me. I like that. That's the I way. Agree. Yes. It's going to be a weird Christmas with us around. That was such an amazing experience. The Grinch is an icon. Seriously. Big props to him for being so nasty and stinking up the place. I loved it and Emmy loved it too. And make sure you guys check out Emmy's Instagram. I put her link in the description. And uh, yeah, what a, what a way, what a day. We're gonna see the Grinch a little bit later on, like I said. And then of course, during the Who Holiday Spectacular, which I think is about time. So I think we're gonna head over there. They have multiple show times a day from 11.15 to 7 o'clock at night and they always ask you to show up 20 to 30 minutes prior to the show time because it does fill out and it does sell out quick. So this is the way you actually have to go back through this way and over to Nickelodeon Studios. 
What I mean by the Nickelodeon Studios, I mean the old Nickelodeon Studios. Then it was the Blue Man Group, and now it is basically dormant until it's Grinchmas season, and then the Grinchmas who Holiday Spectacular actually happens in there. So I'm very excited to head on in, but before that, I think we're gonna try some of the special Grinchmas food. Here is a look at some of the awesome holiday food they have to offer this year. We've got the Grinch cookie, which is a classic. And then my all-time favorite little slider. This is the roast beast. This is roast beef with meatloaf, and it comes with a little tiny sandwich on top of a sandwich. Then we've got the green eggs uh, and ham cake pop. And then we've got a nice little vegan cookie there. And also, don't forget about the Grinch popcorn bucket. I'm so excited to dive in. Look at this. It looks so pretty. Before we make our way in, I ended up getting myself the new Grinch popcorn bucket. And look at this, look on the back. They actually have green popcorn in it. I love that. It doesn't taste like anything, it just tastes like popcorn. But how funny would it be if it was green egg like flavored popcorn? Ew. First things first, we're gonna try the Grinch cookie, and I've had this before. It's such a soft cookie, I love it so much. And it has a little red heart, a very tiny red heart right in the center of it. So cheers. Wow. That is such a great cookie right there. Honestly, it's gotta be one of my favorite holiday cookies because of how soft it is. And it's not like a, a overly sugar cookie too. And I also like how there's powdered sugar on it, but it does make a mess a little bit. Now it's time to try the green egg cake pop. And this is such a cool, like, you know, I mean, this is what I was talking about when it's like really well themed. I don't even know how to eat it though, because it's an egg on a fork. A fork and an egg. Sounds like that's like a saying, isn't it? It's a brownie. Oh, it's minty. Now it's time to dive into the roast beast. I am so excited. Got the little sandwich on top. Look, you can see meatloaf in there. Meatloaf on the bottom, roast beef on a pretzel bun. This is so, so good. And you can actually buy this. It's available over in Seuss Landing. I get it all the time because it's, like I said, one of my all-time favorites. Oh, look at that. Oh, much too good. I kind of like to eat it in a hole like this and try to eat two sandwiches at once, but it never really works out best in my favor. So we're gonna try not to make a mess, but dive in. And I bit the toothpick. Love the hat. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I wouldn't care what everyone else said. I think that hat looks cool. I like your hat too. I can match it. I felt called out by the Grinch, so I put my Santa hat on, and now we'll see what he thinks. He's just so fun. I could literally just watch him for hours, and it's just so entertaining every single time. I, I, I switched out my hat to match you. So that's my hat, not Well, that, you know, you're still wearing you? your hat, right? but I have a different hat on. Yes, but that one looks like it was factory made, and everything I make is 100%. Oh, yours is way better. Yeah. way better. Way yeah. better. Yeah. But I do appreciate that you uh, like the other hat. You've got that brim around. What's going around with the brim? It's for the sun. It's for the sun. Ah. Yes. <laughs> I would love to take a photo. Absolutely. Yeah. E.T.? Yes. E.T.? Yeah. He's a good one. He's a good one. Wrinkly. Nice. Wrinkly. To moisturize. Moisturize. Which I think we all can agree. I can agree. It's I can agree. Best. Now it's time we actually head on in to the Who Holiday Spectacular, and I'm so excited for this. And if you guys didn't know, Mannheim Steamroller actually makes some of the music for the show, and I think that is such a cool little detail, and it is such a great show. I love this show so much, and look at it in here. It looks so pretty. We're actually in the old Nickelodeon Studios, which is kind of cool in itself. We're going from Nickelodeon to the Grinch. And look at this, Earl the Squirrel. I am so excited to see you. I love your sweater. Very excited. Are you gonna go see the Grinch? Is that, oh yeah? You're heading your way out? You're gonna go get some nuts? I love it. Well, thanks Earl. Have fun and enjoy. His original story over 65 years ago. And in celebration of that anniversary, we present to you this new retelling of his Fooler Day classic. As an added Christmas gift, this show features classic songs arranged by Chip Davis and Mannheim Steamroller. The holidays are about sharing with others, so we invite you to take plenty of photographs to share the memories with family and friends. Please refrain from using flash photography or any light source on your camera 
as this will startle the Who's. And now, Universal Orlando asks that you open your heart and enjoy the Grinchmas Holiday Spectacular. Who Holiday Spectacular is amazing. I only put a little bit in there because I want you guys to go check it out. If you get an opportunity, go check it out because it's so much better in person. But I do love Max. I think that is the best part of the show. And uh, now we're going to keep moving along. Now it's time we start making our way over to Universal's Holiday Parade 
featuring Macy's. And I'm so excited. I get to see the Christmas tree for the first time. And I think we're gonna check out the new tribute store. It's gonna, like I said, today is like a jam packed day. We're just on the go, go, go. It's just about 5.20, so the parade takes off at 5.30. We got a good spot. I'm excited to see all the balloons and Santa Claus and all the different characters and listen to the music. I already got some popcorn. I'm ready to go. Look at this. Isn't it so beautiful? This is my first time seeing the Christmas tree, all the lights. I'm so excited for the parade. Universal Studios does a really good job for the holidays, and I always come every single year, just like Disney. As you can see, the lights on the buildings are all lit up, but the Christmas tree is not lit up, and that's because when Santa comes in the parade, he uses his holiday magic to light the tree. And it's a big, like, it's a big, like, magical moment, and I'm excited. It's gonna be so beautiful.
at that tree. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? I love it. So amazing. Now 
we're going to make our way in and check out the Tribute Store for the first time this year. I'm so excited. That parade was amazing, though. Honestly, the snow and then the, the little ro the robot is my favorite. And then seeing Santa make the tree light up, it's, it really is magical. And here it is, the Holiday Tribute Store. Oh, I'm so excited. It looks so nice. Nice little storefront. I feel like I'm really in New York City. It looks like they've got a little directory in here. The basement is an eerie emporium. New York Holiday on the first floor. Second floor, Wizarding World. Third floor, Whoville. And then fourth floor, Earl's North of the Border. I'm so excited. I want to go down to the basement. Take me to the basement, please. Oh, this is awesome. Wow, look at these posters. Wow, that is so cool. I like that. Fresh cut Christmas trees. I like how each room is differently themed. You have a Wizarding World area, then you have a Grinch area, and uh, it keeps it kind of fun. So I think we're gonna move along and make our way into the Wizarding World, and then we're also gonna actually go over to the Wizarding World and watch the uh, holiday uh, show on Hogwarts Castle. We go from one room right into the next, and look at this. Look at the detail in here. Like, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to the Holiday Tribute Store. They basically make it not just like a regular old like merchandise shop. They put so much into this. It, it looks like we're in another area. Lots of cool Harry Potter stuff. And then we're going to move along. I'm going to keep moving along. But it's pretty big in here. But it's also opening day. So it's very, very crowded. And super blue. Ooh. And they even play Harry Potter music in here. Now it's time to make our way into Whoville. I think this is my favorite. I mean, I do like the Harry Potter section, but oh, it's the Grinch. I see him over here. <laughs> and I wonder if he's going to like my popcorn bucket. Our final area is Earl's north of the border. And I love it in here. It smells very nutty. And I like all the multicolored lights. I'm a big multicolored light kind of guy. I don't like the white ones. Oh yeah, I like it a lot in here. Probably my favorite room. I thought Whoville would have been, but this is like so, like merry and bright. Take a picture, it'll last longer. <laughs> now that we got a look at the Holiday Tribute Store, like I said, I think we're gonna head on over to Hogsmeade. And it's really nice in there. I definitely liked Earl's room the best. I felt like it was just so colorful and the smell of the nuts, it was, it was really nice. Now we have made it over to Islands of Adventure. We ended up going backstage so I couldn't film it, but we're here in Hogsmeade. I'm so excited. I love coming here during the holidays. I mean, it's kind of holiday themed all year round because of the snow like on the rooftops, but like during the holidays, extra special and hot butter beer. Just look at it in here. I could spend hours, hours. And also, I wouldn't mind getting a hot butter beer. Right meow. Can't be in Hogsmeade without some hot butter beer. Look at this. Wow. I am just so happy right now.
It was really nice to celebrate the holidays and Hogsmeade. And I love that show. I don't know how much I can show you guys because the music is copyrighted, but it is really cool and we had some hot butter beer, which is my all-time favorite butter beer. I mean, I think I would rank it hot, cold, and then frozen. Frozen is my least favorite. Got myself a gilly water, and now I think we're gonna start making our way down through Seuss Landing and calling it night. I can't wait to get over to Seuss Landing and see it all lit up for the holidays. It is so pretty, especially at night. The floodgates have opened up. And whenever the uh, show ends at Hogsmeade, it's such a tight corridor here. And uh, like I said, we're gonna try to make our way down to Seuss Landing, just so we can see it all lit up in all of its prettiness. I was excited to show you guys the lights over in Grinchmas, but looks like they're having some technical difficulties today. Just might be down for the second. You sad? Wow! <laughs> That's all I wanted. That's all you came for with the lights here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <so> bad. <laughs> and with that, I think we are done here today. What a fun holiday day here at Universal. Got my popcorn bucket, and I had so much fun. I really love the Grinch, and uh, the uh, Macy's Parade was fantastic. I really think my mom would like coming to Universal Studios. I don't know. She doesn't want to ride any of the rides here, but I feel like there's a lot of things that she could do that isn't like ride-based. Like, Seeing the Whoville Spectacular, the parade, the projection show, maybe getting her on E.T. She might be able to ride E.T., who knows? I mean, I, I think so. So, uh, thank you again, Universal Studios, for inviting me out. It was amazing. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!